Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. Uh, today, <laughs> I forgot what we were going to do then. Uh, today we're going to take a look at left-hand technique. So, what I'd like to talk about here is left-hand hammers from nowhere and uh, left-hand only playing those two elements that I tend to practice day in, day out, all the time because I really, really want to improve my legato playing and just my playing in general and I feel that it helps me attain a much more sort of relaxed approach to playing and I get this kind of sense of equilibrium with with everything and it really really works well for me so I'm going to share some of the things some of the methods some of the some of the ideas that I have for practicing these two approaches right before we get into it though first things first make sure you check out my website link is in the description box below 30 percent off all lesson downloads it's by far and away the best way to support what i do uh, so please check that out uh, also i'm considering setting up a patreon page just so that i can start posting dun, 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 tabs for, for the ideas that i've i put out so I'm still deciding. So if you think it's you know a worthwhile thing, I'm just thinking of just having one tier, you know, like five dollars uh, for the month, and then just putting tabs up for you guys, um, so you don't have to keep asking mainly. And uh, you know, anything I get will be pumped back into doing these videos, so better equipment, all the rest of it. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm digressing. Let's get straight to the point, shall we? So, left hand. So, we're not really going to do much in the way of picking. It's all to do with the left hand. So, the way that I practice scales, you'll have seen this in countless videos that I've done before, uh, is uh, when it comes to left hand stuff, is generally one of two ways. Okay. So, the first is hammering on and pulling off. However, uh, we, we don't use a pick at all. So if I just show you what I mean. So if we play a, a straight ahead A major scale. Okay, so you notice no pick. Right hand still stays in, in this playing position so that I can control all the muting, but the index finger starts the, the, the pattern, the scale. So hammer on. If we're ascending, it's all going to be hammers. Hammer, hammer. Now, when we cross strings, we get another hammer with the index finger to start the string vibrating. Continue on. Okay. So, same when descending. Well, we don't need the index finger to hammer on from nowhere when descending. We're just pulling off. So it's the little finger or third finger, whichever finger you use, that we're going to just hammer on from nowhere. In other words, it's not picked. That's all it means. Hammer. Hammer. And so on. Okay, so the full scale. Okay, notice how clean it is. No noise whatsoever. So that's what we've got to aim for. It's certainly what I try and aim for with my playing, uh, and I'm constantly doing it. Um, so that's the first approach. Okay, so when we're ascending, we have to hammer on with the index finger. Okay, so that's the thing that's going to take the most work. Okay, so you've noticed we're doing a mixture of when ascending, hammers, when descending, pull offs. Okay, we can also approach it with a, this second approach here, which is hammers only. So we're going to hammer on when ascending, but when descending, we're also going to hammer on, so no pull offs. Now, this feels completely different to the, uh, the hammers and pull offs approach, and it's very, very difficult to do. Well, at least I find it very difficult to do, but I think it's well worth practicing and uh, but you've got to be very very patient with it because it's a very demanding technique but uh, it really I feel that I get the best results when I'm completely relaxed uh, not a hundred percent obviously obviously we've got to use tension in order to play I'm talking you know put that aside just you know completely relaxed when we play so let me just uh, go over that again so uh, I'll do it slowly so when we ascend it's just straight as the first exercise, the first technique, hammers when ascending. So hammering on using that index finger. 
Now, when we descend, we hammer on as opposed to that pull off. Okay, so it's a hammer. So hammer, 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 and so on. Okay. I find when I do this correctly, there's a way of sort of catching the string uh, as it's vibrating that really helps to let the notes sustain. Uh, so. And it's one of those things that when you, when you get it right, you'll know because you'll just feel it. Okay. It's a really great technique. I love practicing it, but it's very demanding. So it's quite, you've, you're going to have to be patient with it. And also very, very honest with your playing. You know, it requires that you make sure everything is clean. So you've got to have a spot on muting technique here. So those are the two approaches that I use. So I'll play regular scales uh, as I did before. Um, just for example, the A major scale using the hammers and pull offs approach. So that's still left hand only, right? Because we're not involving the right hand. But the second approach is hammers only. So that means when we're descending, we're hammering every single note on. Okay, try and again, keep your left hand relaxed when you're doing it. That yields the best results in my opinion. So, okay, so let me just show you something else. Let's take this a little bit further. So we're gonna apply this to the two techniques. Okay, so we're just gonna take a trill here on the top E string. And we're going to play it like that. So that is obviously hammer on and then pull off. So it's the first of our two techniques. Okay, now we're going to do it hammers only. So. So notice I'm, I'm hammering both notes here. Whoops, a daisy. I'm excessively muting. <laughs> Let me do that again. So that's the hammer approach, okay? It needs to be, I need to work on it a bit more. Okay, it's a real good feel. It feels great, the, the hammers only thing. So let's extend that just a little bit further uh, by descending and doing the same thing. So that's the hammer on and pull off approach. And this is the hammers only. When you get it right, it sounds just crystal clear. And you also don't have to worry about pulling the string off of the fretboard when you're doing the hammers only, as you might hear. And in order to get this right, you've got to apply a hell of a lot more tension than with the hammers only. Okay, so descend, same thing. So that's hammering on and pulling off and hammers only. Feels great that. Uh, and then finally. Okay, so uh, those two exercises are, are ones that I practice a bit and they're worth, well worth doing. But again, make sure, because what you'll find is if you start struggling, usually what happens is you'll tense up excessively. So it's a good idea to stop, not take things too quickly, make sure you're breathing properly, nice and relaxed. Okay, so just bear those kind of things in mind. Um, so let me just give you a little example of a, a little pattern. Something, uh, something like that, right? So again, we're gonna play it in the one of two methods here. So the first one is hammering on when we ascend and pull off when we descend, in terms of pitch that is. On, on, off, on. Notice the index finger is solidly in position here. And again, no noise. Okay, so now we're gonna do the hammers only.
very clear sounding. And you can obviously play that through the scale. And so on, you can do whatever you like with it. But um, that's just a basic example um, that you can sort of use these two techniques in a more practical sense. Hokey dokey, so um, that's something to keep you occupied. Uh, I'm just gonna finish up here because I don't wanna sort of ramble on for too long. Um, but I'm just gonna finish up here why I like using uh, the, the hammers from nowhere approach, uh, especially when it comes to tone. Okay, uh, it's, a, it's a big thing for me. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you a little, little phrase, okay? Okay, that's the phrase. Okay, really tasty little thing. It's like a two five, right? So, in uh, what key are we in? G major. So A minor seven, D seven to G. Okay, so. So let me show you what the notes are. G, 12 and 14. Okay, then 13 of the B, then top E. That's easy enough, right? And then we're gonna go here, back down the arpeggio, okay? And then pull off to 12. Then we're gonna slide down and then bend up to where, um, to, to the, the pitch of the G note on the 12th fret, okay? Release, and then do a hammer on and pull off and then finish with these two notes. So all together. Okay. Okay, there's a couple of different ways that I can play that, but uh, I really, really like the sound of um, when you hammer on to a string from, from nowhere, particularly this fella here. I love the tone of that. So that's all left hand. No right hand whatsoever other than controlling the muting. Listen to that, I love that. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm a bit of a weirdo. Well, that's, that's a definite but. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because it's, we don't want to approach this kind of thing as just a technical exercise. There are other benefits too. And in terms of finger tone, the, uh, using these particular approaches, the hammer on from nowhere stuff, both the first and second techniques can yield some wonderful results tone wise. So that's one of the reasons why I adopt these techniques. Not the only, but just one of them. So if I pick the same, pick everything. It sounds all right. A little bit sticky, perhaps if I play it, you know, less. So I right, much prefer the sound of this. It's it's much more fluid sounding than. But again, subjective. It's down to what you like the sound of. So um, this is something I do a hell of a lot of. Just listening to the tone. So that, I, I do that a lot, just listen to the tone rather than just be a slave to the technique, if you know what I mean. Right, I've rambled on for, for longer than I needed to, <laughs> but I tend to do that. Uh, anyway, I hope this video has helped. Um, put them to, you know, in your next practice routine, give them a try, see, see how they feel to you. But again, exercise patience. This takes a while to get used to. So try not to rush uh, and try just retain as much relaxation as possible. If you are tensing up, just make yourself aware of it. That's, that's the biggest step to, to rectifying a, you know, a problem. It's just being aware of it. Hokey dokey, I will leave you to it. Again, hit the link in the description for lessons from my website. It's a great way to support what I do. Anyway, I will leave you guys to it. Happy practicing, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.